Hello everyone and welcome to my video on setting the Xbox 360 thumbstick range in Dolphin. Now let me guess, you've been trying to play some Dolphin games, but they all seem to be unplayable simply because of how sensitive the Xbox 360 thumbsticks are. Now there's a solution for that, and what you're going to want to do is go to your Dolphin button configuration, go to where it says Main Stick and C Stick, and starting here at Main Stick, you're going to want to right click on the Up configuration. Right click. Now, up will pop up a configuration control that says input and range, and the default should be 100. Now, you're going to want to turn that down to about 70. Click OK, and do that for every single one of the directions on your thumbstick. Also, do that for your C stick. And you'll notice here on my C stick, I have it set to about 59. And there's a reason for that, and that's simply because every single game is going to demand something a little bit different because the Xbox 360 controller just isn't the GameCube controller, and everything is just going to require a little bit of tweaking. Now, if you look here at the circle area where it says main stick and C stick, you'll notice that if I fully depress my thumbstick on the left in any direction, it will go up to 70% of what it normally would. And here at the C-Stick, if I fully depress that in any direction, you'll notice that it goes up to about 59% of what it normally would. Now, each game is going to need a little bit of tweaking simply because each uh, programmed game is, has a little bit of a different mechanics, uh, i.e. if you want to run in a certain game, it's going to need a depression of a thumbstick of, let's say, 65%. And uh, my main stick would be fine, but my C-stick would not be fine because my main stick is set to 70% and my C-stick is set to 59%. So you have to keep that in mind and every game is going to need a fair amount of tweaking in order to get it to work. There's still some sen sensitivity issues whenever you're trying to just lightly press your thumbsticks, but nothing's perfect. This is emulation. Uh, hopefully they get something that will natively support an Xbox 360 controller. But until that time, this is just going to have to do. If you have a better solution, make sure that you hit me up in the comments below. And with that being said, I hope this works for you. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you'd like more videos, gaming stuff. I do a bunch of stuff here on my channel. And with that being said, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.